This video was unofficially sponsored by Trojan Brand Condoms. Always remember, practice safe flying. Thank you. Hey, good morning. Today I'm going to be using the uh, Phantom 4 Pro to go up and check the cell phone tower. The other day when I took the video, I used the little DJI Mavic 2. The little DJI Mavic 2 weighs... Um, Less than a pound and the Phantom 4 Pro weighs about 5 pounds. The Phantom 4 Pro has to be registered with the FAA and the little DJI Mini does not. Both of the uh, displays are different. This is the display for the Phantom 4 Pro. It's got its own onboard video and the DJI Mini 2 you use a cell phone. The bad thing about the uh, Phantom 4 Pro is I can't record what's on the screen and I can't narrate. So we're going to just, I haven't had it out for quite a while. So I think we'll just go ahead and we'll just send it up and check the progress on the cell phone tower and see what kind of progress they're making. This kind of reminds me of the back in the day when they used to uh, piggyback the space shuttle on the back of the 747. But anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll send the old Phantom 4 Pro up and uh, see what it looks like. The thing about the Phantom 4 Pro is it's got a one inch sensor on the camera and the DJI Mini 2 only has a two thirds sensor. So the Phantom 4 Pro is a lot better for night than the Mini 2. And sometimes the colors are a little bit better. But we'll find out here. We'll go ahead and just send it up for a quick flight over the cell tower and see what kind of progress they were making. Yesterday I could because they had three climbers on the tower. So there was no way that I was going to bother them. Today there's nobody up there. So we'll just see what it looks like. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, here we go. Going to go up about 400 feet. Try to get the camera adjusted. And take off towards the tower. First part of this video, you're going to see those lines. That's the props reflecting in the sun. I've got to get a neutral density filter of this thing, and then you won't see that. Once I get on the other side of the tower, get the camera pointed down a little bit, you won't see those. That's the bad part about a flying in the sun. There's some sun flare. There, they kind of disappeared once they got the camera down a little bit. Now, nope, there they come again. If I can get an ND16 filter on there, you won't see those. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it looks like they made some progress yesterday. They got it all put together. That little thing there is, the, is our original tower, that little building. Looks like they got eh, two radios put on it. 
I would have hated. There was three guys up on that tower yesterday, and I bet that wind was doing 50 mile an hour on that hill because it was really bad at my house. I can remember fighting that wind up there 80 to 90 feet. See if I can get a nice circle around it. That's the hard part. And trying to get that cable clipped down when it's flapping around on that tower with the wind, that's, that's a bugger. Well, eventually I'll get a circle around it. <laughs> There, I made some progress. Yeah, they did get three radios put on it. That one's even got a ladder. That's even the best part. Some of the towers I used to do didn't have ladders. You had to crawl up the cross beams. That was scared the cows because this thing sounds like a lawnmower with no muffler. Yeah, we'll just go right over the top without hitting it. Since I'm trying to do this about three quarters of a mile away from the house, I can't see the drone, so I gotta rely on the camera. Now, we'll move the camera up. Take a look at the hills. A little yaw around and... Back to the house. Nice clear day. Alrighty guys and gals, that's it. Enjoy the trip back to the house. And again, thank you for watching. And if you want to tell your friends and tell your enemies and tell your enemies' friends to subscribe, go ahead. Thank you.